Okay, there's sound, but there's also words. There's also words. Okay? And, and so with, with the music, we know the Bible says that we are to sing uh, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Ephesians 5.18. Uh, well, not 5.18, but moving on after that. So we have uh, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And so the Bible tells us to sing these things. I don't think it's, 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 it's wrong to, uh, to hear a commercial and, and a, give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar or something, to have a jingle that's in your mind, okay? Uh, it's like, well, those aren't psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. I don't think God's saying you can't sing anything else. I think we need to have a diet of these things. This should be my diet, okay? We had peanut butter pie last night at our meal. Um, but that, that, was, that was in addition to my meal. That was dessert. Okay, that wasn't my meal. Um, dessert is something you add to a meal or you might not. But the meal is what you need to, the diet, what do you eat? Um, do you, are, are, you, are you one of those people that, that um, comes out of Speedway with the 168 ounce drink and, and you think, okay, look at how large they are. I'm going to I'm going to watch out not to have that IV line to my lips with sugar, um, lest I, you know, have, to have too much of that. All right? Um, I need to sip some water between meals. I need to limit my intake to what's going to be good for me. So I think a part of that, you want to, you want to think, I, can, I compare food to uh, music to, to diet a lot of times, um, where, where, you don't want to just, oh, church is, only, is the only place I listen to good music. Other than that, I, I listen to just my tunes. Well, what, you're, you have a steady diet. I think this is supposed to be my steady diet. Right here. Okay? So what are psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs? I might get into this a little bit more later on as well, but let me just give you a simple way to look at it. Uh, psalms is scripture. Sing scripture. Um, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Okay? Sing scripture. Um, this is the day the Lord hath made. Remember Mr. Armacost, Frank, uh, you might have, I don't know if you were here, but you were here for a little bit last semester, of visiting, but, but we, he, he, he preached that message, don't forget about today, right? Don't forget about today. Uh, and he preached that message and, and, he, and he talked about how we can waste today um, being excited about victories of yesterday or being depressed about failures of yesterday, worried about obstacles that are coming up tomorrow. But we need to just remember today. Okay, so sing scripture. Uh, this is the day. I've been singing that with my, my children. And I said, kids, today, Claire, don't be worried that Christmas isn't for a long time. <laughs> it was the day after Christmas. I said, children, only 365 days till Christmas. And, 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 and Alec, Alec looked at me and goes, Dad, didn't you say this was a leap year? I'm like, that's right. Children, only 366 days till Christmas. And... Uh, Boy, my, my, my five-year-old, she's like, well, how long is that? I'm like, you don't want to think about it. <laughs> Honestly, it's a lifetime away for you. Um, and it is. I, the best thing for you is this, to forget I even brought it up. I'm sorry. Let's just think about today and just enjoying today and, and giving it to God and working hard for Him and pleasing Him. You know, each day. I think, uh, is it Matthew 6 that talks about sufficient unto the day? Is the evil thereof. So, um, so sing scripture. This is the day. Um, there's other scriptures uh, right up. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Or, uh, um, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Or, 
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never, 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 never die. Shall never, 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 never die. Believest thou this? Believest thou this? Believest thou this? 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 Believest. Anyway, have fun uh, singing. Uh, um, uh, let's see what's the other one. It's just a... Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And those are fun. That, that can be done in a round. And you can even add the Alleluia. Um, I was thinking of the, uh, uh, what's the one where, if, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Say no. Say no. If sinners entice thee, okay, sing scripture, sing scripture. And by the way, the hymn book is full of scripture. Um, um, Hark the herald angels sing. Brother Reardon one time said, he was, he was getting up to preach years ago, and he said, pull out your hymnals to, and we're like, whoa, you said the wrong thing. He goes, nope, I, I didn't. I actually meant hymnals. You know, they didn't accidentally say hymnals. He said, we're going to look at Hark the Herald, and he showed us the scripture that Charles Wesley got all those, all those uh, lyrics from. And he was all over the Bible. It was wonderful. But sing scripture. And then hymns, uh, sing scripture roll songs. Okay? So hymns, uh, we're not, I don't think we're entirely sure what Paul meant with this division, but people guess that like hymns might have been uh, songs that were uh, closer to. Um, uh, the, the time where the men that were writing down the New Testament were living. Um, but I think basically for us, so what does this mean for us? I think I sing scripture, and I think scripture roll songs. Songs that, that give me scripture truth. That, that it's not necessarily singing a verse, but that truth is found in my Bible. Okay? A, a, a truth. Um, um, Coming again, coming again. Maybe morning, maybe noon, maybe evening, and maybe soon. Come, you know, there's a verse that says, "Coming again, coming again." Maybe, uh, uh, oh, what a, oh, what a wonderful day it will be. Jesus is coming again. Is there a verse necessarily that? that that goes with probably different verses that tie together for that truth, right? So sing scripture roll songs and then spiritual songs, I think kind of links back to here. Spiritual songs might be more of your, uh, your, your choruses possibly, uh, but spirituals, yes, yeah, sing scripture, sing scripture roll songs, and then this is my S here, if you want alliteration, you know, uh, spiritual songs, songs that just like, um, God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow my Lord. You know, just something, something spiritual, something when you're excited about God, you make stuff up. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be made up, but you, you just get like, Oh Lord, praise the name of God, and you, and you start singing um, sometimes when you're older, you, 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 grab, you know enough songs that you start singing something, but my, my children will walk around absentmindedly making up music, and, and they'll be like, God loves me, so I will give my life to him, as they have the doll and they're brushing the hair, and he, I will do everything for him because he's, he means so much, praise the Lord. And you just hear them singing, and... Uh, um, I think God loves, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has the Lord perfected praise. Um, so anyway, so spiritual songs. And so I think this is fine for us. This is a practical way of looking at it. Yes, if you got more into the nitty gritty, I think maybe you'd, you'd get some more out of it. But, but sing scripture, sing scriptural songs and sing spiritual songs. Uh, that should be your diet. Um, and... and um, that should be the main thing you listen to. Yes, enjoy this. Yes, enjoy this. But even, uh, you know, there's some beautiful uh, film scores. You know, soundtracks, like a Gettysburg. Um, there's, there's, there's different 
um, uh, film scores, but but as far as the um, different, but as, as, even as, as part of that 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 music, if that becomes your main diet, the danger there is is uh, as as you love to be emotionally carried here and emotionally carried here with that music, that becomes what you crave. The emotionally, being swept here and there emotionally when that shouldn't be the main thing music does for you. Um, um, emotions, you know, so, somewhere even as your body feels this way and, and the harm of the intellect and, and all these things, it shouldn't be all about your emotion. It should be... Uh, I feel so good when I hear this music. Again, that's you got to watch that. It's what what pleases my God. What pleases my God, and then learning to enjoy that music.